Yo, what's up, dudes? So, um, thought we'd try a little something different today. <clears throat> uh, this isn't a sponsored video or anything like that. This is just me using my brain to come up with good ideas. <laughs> and uh, I just thought, you know, I, do, I buy a lot of used guitars. Maybe we could go over and take a look at the new guitars. And if there's anything in there that's sort of of interest, uh, we'll make a purchase and then... We can do, a, you know, an unboxing and we can check it out. So I um, I called up Sweetwater. Again, not a sponsored video. This isn't sponsored by Sweetwater or anything like that. Uh, this is just, you know, I need a place to go buy a, a new guitar. I usually go to Guitar Center and I go to Guitar Center used. Uh, but, you know, I figure why not give Sweetwater a try? I, I rarely buy any new things. Um... I, I usually buy my guitars used, so I think we'll go to uh, solid body here, and then what are we going to do? How are we going to filter this? Uh, well, we should do in stock. I don't want to. Can we filter that here? Okay, in stock, and then um, well, we can filter it by price range. So that begs the question, how much do we want to spend? Uh, huh. Well, let me, let me check my crypto. All right. All right. Well, let's see what we can what we can find here. There's actually quite a few guitars here, huh? Um, we sort by price, high to low. I don't think there's a big price difference. I think the highest is one ninety nine, and it's looking like oh, these are almost all one ninety nine, huh? Oh, one seventy nine. And 149, and that's about it. All right. Well, those Kramers look pretty good. Guess we can work our way up. I got to tell you that blue looks pretty striking, just on the, just on camera. I mean, just compared to a lot of the other colors, it, it looks metallic. These look like flat. Okay, black. Not flat, but glossy. But uh, you know what I'm saying. Um, not metallic. Hey, uh, I see you get a bullet. <clears throat> Fiesta Red. That Jackson looks pretty good. Though I'm not crazy about natural guitars. Uh, so there's the same, same Jackson, but with uh, a satin black. That's kind of nice. I see that's a mini got to be careful. So we got to make sure whatever it is, it's full size. Oh, I think this Jackson looks actually pretty good. Oh, and it's in stock, too. That's a good looking guitar. Check this one here. Again, I, I'm, I just, I'm not a fan of natural guitars. You know, I, you know, I think that other one is a lot more attractive. You know, even though it is a matte finish, I also feel like, you know, the satin finishes are, uh, you know, a satin finish like that, it, it, it takes a step away. A gloss finish, I think, is a little bit more work than a satin finish. Check out the perps. I like the maple fretboard. I can tell you that because then you are you don't have to worry about how dark it is. See, I see how light this fretboard is. <clears throat> That's the one thing that I'm not crazy about, and it's just because when we were kids, rightly or wrongly, <laughs> 
the dark rosewood was on the expensive guitars and the light rosewood and the streaky rosewood was on the cheap guitars and you can't help but like have an association between like lighter rosewood whether it's rosewood or not rosewood just light brown on the fretboard really does uh, have an association with a less expensive product than the dark rosewood or ebony or dark it really does so that's why you just don't even you just avoid it and you just go maple I gotta tell you from a paint job standpoint like just pure I don't know if it's the photography but from a paint job just like sheer looks I think this is like one of the best ones so far the only downside is that it's only a single pickup two big upsides is a gloss finish a metallic finish um, it's got a trim instead of a hardtail and a maple fretboard again the only thing you worry about is um, mineral streaks really with maple well these all have maple too yeah you know I could go one of these do I go with the least expensive one right because it's maple there you can see a tiny bit more mineral streaking in the how about on the back little bit not too bad I don't like those tuners though uh, that raises a good question I'm not crazy about those you know those tuners those tuners have been around since I was a kid <laughs> how about this one same tuners or better tuners I like the headstock too oh geez and I like the Kramer logo <laughs> They, they're tapping into some nostalgia. Oh, they're sealed tuners. Well, that's nice. Let's go back and look at that. <sighs> Let's go back and look at that, Jackson. That's a nice looking guitar. Hmm. Sealed, sealed tuners, too. I gotta say, a little bit of mineral streaking, but not that bad. Pretty, pretty clean. And a nice touch with that extra line in the back there, right? Makes it look a little bit more high end. Yeah. And do they have it in. Oh, see, if they had it in that, do they have it in this? They don't. See, if they had it in that, I'd be way, this would be the one. Because it has the gloss finish. And I just think that looks really good. With, you know what I'm saying? That I would go for. I think even more than this. Right. I, again, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not a fan of the satin. I'm, a, I'm an old school gloss dude. <laughs> trying to think, what do I have for satin guitars? Not many. I guess the Frankie is sort of a semi-gloss. I'm just looking over there. On the wall, <clears throat> really nothing. Even my EVH is gloss. Right, the EVH standard. Huh. All right, so I think it's really... Yeah, it's a good-looking guitar there. Can we get back to the, the main page here? There it is. Geo. Not bad. It is it a full size Oh, that almost looks like it's a mini. Is that a full size guitar? Gotta be careful. Sometimes these are not. Blah 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 blah. The poplar body. I think it's full size. Yeah, 25 and a half inch scale length. Okay, full size. Sometimes it's a little weird, you know, it's like you don't want to order you don't want to order something small. Okay, I, I think I got it narrowed down. I think I got it narrowed down between a couple of models here. Let me um let me land this plane make my final purchase here and uh... 
So what's this one? Is that a... Oh, it is a gloss. That's actually not bad. I, you know, the gray looks good. Is it in stock? It is in stock. That's actually not a... I like it better, I think, than these other... Right, that's a little too... Too kooky. You know, that's not bad. I, I'm so over these, these bright blues, the Daphne blues and the surf greens and everything. I, I actually kind of like that, you know. And it's 149, which has, you know, the benefit of being 25% uh, less than every other guitar on this page, practically. Okay. All right. I don't think there's anything else that's even interesting me here, right? That's a, that's a mini. And I, I got too many strats. I'm not going strat. Although, I got to say, that does look pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, not bad. All right, Indian Laurel fretboard. Okay, let me let me wrap this up. Hold on, let me go back to this other cam. I'm gonna make a purchase, and I'll see you in a sec. Yo, what's up dudes? New guitar. New guitar is here. You saw what was available. I'd love to know, well, two answers. One, what would you have picked? And secondly, what do you think I picked? And we'll figure it out. All right. Let's get the, uh, do I have a, yeah, right there. I should have a little razor. Let the, let the unboxing commence. Candy. Candy. Brochures and stuff. All right. Um, <clears throat> the box is going to give it away. Once I take it out, you will know what it is, because there's writing on the box. So, uh, you know, make your guesses now, your final guess. And uh, please, though, this is all for fun. No wagering. That was a pretty clean draw. <laughs> I don't know that you saw any of it. Okay, you ready? Are you ready for the are you ready for the big reveal? I went with a Kramer. But you knew that. <laughs> you knew that. Again, this is uh I don't know if I mentioned this. This isn't a sponsored video. I literally bought this guitar. This isn't uh, anything sponsored through Sweetwater, though I will tell you, I am a Sweetwater affiliate, and if you click on the link to Sweetwater from my channel, it is an affiliate link. So if you're thinking about buying one of these, please use the link. Uh, but yeah, well, I have to figure out which which one of these I got. All right, all right, here we go. Dude. Dude. Oh. Check that puppy out. Nice. Mm, love the headstock. Love the logo. Love the neck. Beautiful neck on it. Right, so why did I go with this one? Uh, it was pretty simple. Um, 
I noticed that almost all of them had uh, matte finishes. It's a lot of matte finishes. I, I would say another one that was in con uh, that it was a real contender was this Jackson. But if you notice, the Jackson wasn't listed because the Jackson wasn't in stock. So the Jackson was like on back order. So, um, you know, I had to go by what, what was in stock. And uh, I went with this here. Just a straight up Kramer right, at, right out of 1984. Single pickup, little little homage to Ed, right? Oh yeah, it's a it's a beautiful finish. I mean, wow! You seeing that there? It is gorgeous. Again, for a guitar that's one hundred ninety nine dollars, you know, I had to pay my my state tax and it was free shipping so a very very low cost guitar and it had um, I felt the best looking paint job of all the ones down at that price point look at that that's a beautiful that's a beautiful looking guitar right there all right uh, let me uh, get a strap on it and uh, plug it in and tune it up and we'll try it out. Just give me a sec here. <laughs> loving this guitar I think I chose wisely uh, frets are great and I'm stunned at how good they are considering how friggin dry it is around here so um, I'm pretty happy about that I'm pretty happy about the, yeah like now we'll, we'll see if it develops maybe it came from a moisture environment and it will sprout but right now they are a perfectly smooth and, uh, you know, it's the, it's the middle of winter, right? It's February. So anyway, this is probably, this video is probably going on longer than it needs to. Well, uh, we'll call it a day. Anyway, there'll be a link in the description. Uh, if you want to check one out, Sweetwater does have them in stock. I think in three different colors. They have it, the Kramer Beretta. See, from Boston, we would say Kramer Beretta. It's fu funny how that works. Kramer Beretta. Special. <laughs> All right, there we go. As always, thanks so much for hanging out. And rock on. Hey, we're back. Um, this is actually shot a few days after that last video. 
And since that time, um, I loosened the, the claw on the back. See, luckily it has these easily reached uh, little holes there. Um, the claw was backed uh, too far down. I had to back the claw back off the, the body a little bit and made a big difference in the, in the tram. And um, I also lubed up the nut and, you know, stretched the strings out because they're brand new strings. And it's staying in such good tune now. I just wanted to come back on and because, you know, when you get a, a brand new guitar out of the box, yeah, the strings are stretching and the nut is never been dressed. N not dressed, not like I'm changing anything other than putting a little bit of um, lube, a little lube from the nut slots. You know how that goes. <laughs> and, uh, and, and backing the claw off, that made a big difference. It was almost decked. And now I think it's just staying in perfect tune. Um, it's not a super dive bomby like a Floyd. But still not bad. I mean, good enough to get that out of the way. still be in tune. All right, well, there you go. Just a slight follow-up uh, to that first unboxing video. You know, now that the strings are broken in, the nut is lubed, and uh, I adjusted those tremolo springs a little bit. Um, and there you go. All right, the final word on the Kramer Beretta special. As always, thanks so much for hanging out. Rock on.